Um, hi, my name is Rebecca Onken. I'm a senior at Westside High School. Um, and I really quick wanted to dedicate this poem to my dad because he's been to every bout I've ever been in since I was in sophomore year. And he's not here right now and it's kind of like really a lot. So I just wanted to say, dad, I love you a lot. I know you're watching. That's all. <laughs> um, and the name of my poem is Want. I am afraid. There are so many things I don't know, and it's like I've only just realized that there is a whole universe of people I will never know or hate or love. I am afraid, and all I can do is want. I want more. I want to know and be known, to love and be loved, to understand and be understood. I want more than romances in the dark that flare up white hot and fade in just a few quivering moments. I want love that stays in someone's heart, that makes them want to eat the world raw with me. I want understanding that doesn't need words, that unfolds between fingers, not lips. My first kiss was a quiet half second. A hesitant meeting of mouths, there was no passion, there was no need, there was no want. All he wanted was someone to explore with. He and I were a cliche, a summer fling that burned too brightly. We did not belong together. It feels like I don't belong with anyone. I do not talk about the people I've liked or kissed or loved. I do not speak of their beaten up converse or sweaty hands or cheesy pickup lines. I do not talk about them because they left me, because I am ashamed that they always leave me. The first time the boy with chocolate eyes left with his words about how I was an experiment trembling in the space between us. His head was held high and mine rested on the clean white wall of the hallway, eyes closed and hands pressed hard against my mouth, desperately trying to keep the sound of my heart splintering inside. The second time, the girl with rosy lips and laughter that sounded like wind chimes held my hand and told me that she made a mistake that I was too much for her to handle, that maybe I was meant to find someone as intense as I was the third time. I took the rosy girl's advice and found a boy who spoke too loudly and told too many jokes. I ran my hands through his floppy blonde hair and looked into his eyes and felt like I wasn't so afraid anymore. But then he looked away and he left with what was left of my heart still placed squarely in his hands. I am afraid. I know that I'm only 17 and there will be other people and these romances were fueled by fluttering teenage hearts but you can only be told you are not enough so many times before you believe it. I want someone to want me, to choose me, to love me but the others, they existed. They lived and they laughed and they loved. They were with me and then they were gone. I don't know if I'll ever be in love Real love, the kind that stops your heart and starts it again and consumes your soul. There are so many things I don't know. I am afraid. Because even though they told me I wasn't meant for love, I want more. <laughs> All right, so I'll give it.